What the heck? Where am I at? Oh my Jesus, I am back in Illinois. What a surprise. Um, yeah, life update, I'm back here. This is my old stomping ground. Huh. Looks nice. Anyways, uh, let's get some nostalgia for some older style videos. For those who requested a certain type of saving video, you're gonna really enjoy this one. Let's see what is in store. Ooh, yay, more vacuums. <laughs> yep, three more vacuums that have been saved. Isn't this great? So, yeah. For those who requested another vacuum save video, you're gonna love this one because we got three more. So, story behind all these. This one, my, um, I guess you could say my roommate's brother, uh, I guess you could call him, picked this up off a curb in what he calls the rich neighborhood in this town. And, uh, yeah, he said it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with it, and physically it looks like it's in good shape. But I believe it's clogged, but I'll have to test this one out. This one, the aforementioned roommate's mother's old vacuum that was stuck in the garage for a long time. Uh, but they recently acquired, it was, it was like a Bissell Cleanview Pet Helix or some crap like that. I forgot exactly what it was, but it was a slightly upgraded version of this. Um, of course, one of the Bissells. And then this one I just found whenever the aforementioned mother's husband, I took him to work today, and along the drive, I noticed this. So as soon as I dropped him off, I ripped, whipped around, not ripped around, I whipped around and uh, snagged it. So yeah, these are all relatively recent, all pickups from when I moved back to Illinois from Louisville. As some of you guys may know. So, I'm back here. And these are the vacuums to celebrate the occasion. So, let's test these out and see what's going on with them. So, I'm actually going to do these in chronological order from when I got them. Which, that's also how they are in the picture. Uh, thumbnail shot is also in order from when I got them. So, or at least we're able to pick them up. So... First is the shark. Shark, shark, shark. I don't like sharks. You guys know that I don't like sharks, but this is a very premium version. It's not just the standard navigators that you see all over the place at Walmart and crap. Although I believe this is another Walmart special. Uh, not, not anything bad to say about Walmart. I like Walmart. Um, but yeah, so there's the lift away system because this is a lift away model, and someone decided to drive a motorcycle right as I'm doing a video. Just no respect whatsoever. <laughs> Anyways, so we got that going on. And let's see. Power button's right here, so let's see what this thing does. Um, see if this thing explodes, or I don't know. But uh, whatever it does, let's see. The lights work, and it smells like dust. It, I'm going to guess maybe a dirty filter. Maybe, probably from some neighbor, uh, neighbors where they don't take care of nothing. So, they're potentially having issues with maintaining it. So, they just decided to throw it out and get another one. Maybe they went cordless or something. I don't know. But either way, that's the status of that. Also, I haven't filmed a video in a while. So, I'm getting a little bit shaky. So, I'm trying to be aware of that and keep this steady and pretty for the YouTubiness. Anyways, um, so let's grab this little bugger and see if we got any suction. It's clogged. It has suction, but it's very weak. So it's either clogged or the filter is, well technically the filter would have to then therefore be clogged. So there's some type of clog in the hose. 
So we'll have to check that out. Um, this post motor filter, does this come off? No, it doesn't. That's not even a filter. Okay, that fooled me, because I know some of these usually have filter grills right here. But yeah, so that's the status of that. This one has the attachments, though. Has the crevice tool, has the uh, dusting brush, which is good. Um, I hate sharks, so the moment I get this running, I'm going to sell it, because I have no desire for them in my collection or to ever be used in my home outside of any type of demo situation. Even then, I still do not do not like these although out of all the models that i've tried this one's probably my favorite because at least since the base is wider that kind of addresses the narrow problem that these have and this does have the swivel steering as well it's still really heavy though it's very cumbersome it's not at all ergonomic to use i mean this handle is okay but it's something i would see on like a maybe a canister vacuum from the 90s as opposed to a you know sub $400, $200, $400, depending on where you get this thing-ish machine that is supposed to be top of the range and top rated and all that good stuff. So, uh, but yeah, that's got a clog. Now let's move on to these other two. Next is the Bissell. So another Power Force Helix. Uh, I believe this is my third one that I've owned. The other two are blue variants. This one I believe it's supposed to be an orange, but it's faded a little bit, so it's more of like a salmon pink color. But I believe it's supposed to be orange. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be orange, but either way. it's uh, And then for the Bissell collectors out there who want to see this model sticker, 1700U, which I'm assuming the U is like a color variant version. It sounds like U means unlocked. It's like a Samsung model number. This one was made... On the 152nd day of 2016, so this is an early version of the of this specific helix. You can tell it doesn't have the window on the front. I keep pointing the camera on the wrong spot. Sorry about that. But yeah, so let's see what this does. Well, that was anticlimactic. Nothing. This was sitting in a garage for, from what I'm aware of, is the better part of mm, two years. Well, this is made in 2016, so probably three years. Well, this isn't working at all. I expected the belt to be bad on this, but this thing is just completely toast. From what I can tell, anyways. Let's do a live plug swap and see if this thing flips on. And I just heard a squirrel. This isn't plugging in for some reason. Move this. Ah! Dang it, just clicked Facebook Messenger. Go away. Nothing. Oh well. Well. This looks pretty bleak. But um, on the bright side, I have parts. This will make a good parts machine for any of the other machines that have bad motors. Because all the parts on this are good, from what I'm aware of. Lever lever's a little bit loose, but it still kind of works. And this brush roll is, from what I can tell, is completely shot. Because it's, it's very seized. But yeah, so this will make a good parts machine. And yeah, I, I'm getting nothing out of this. So, sorry Bissell enthusiasts. Looks like this isn't the best day for uh, this Power Force Helix. Oh well. Now the dirt devil so let's get this thing hooked up so now this is hooked up and I know some people thought the other dirt devil looked orange because it was in the light that's just because it was in the light so let's see what this thing does ooh sounds crunchy
Hmm. So we'll just focus on that. <laughs> Might need a new belt. Well, everything that I just sucked up has been spat out onto the ground, so this might be clogged. Yep. So this one needs some type of work on the brush roll because it clearly is jammed or is scraping or something is wrong with it. And the base is clogged. Just like the shark is clogged. And yeah, so not the most exciting saved a vacuum video, but I figured you guys would like to see it. So yeah, this is my newest vacuum saved video featuring the Dirt Devil Power Express, the Bissell Power Force Helix, and the Shark, what is this, the Shark Powered Lift Away. So those three machines officially saved. And yeah, look forward to the next video of Saved Vacuums, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully should be phone related. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.